bata Binibuli noon At sikat na ngayon Kaya guys, huwag tayo mag-judge sa ating kapo Kasi hindi natin alam Ang papatuluhan o ang kanyang Destination sa buhay He was bullied, he was trolled, he was called a monkey for having spent time in the forest. Most people wrote him off, but he's now a superstar in the making. He rose to fame after we aired his first story on YouTube. From that day, he went on becoming viral, hence stealing people's hearts and making headlines to different social media platforms. A lot of people started sharing his story across different social media platforms. He goes by the name Sanzimana Eli. To know him well, we need to go back where everything started. It all started back in the 1990s when his mother had just got married. Whenever she produced, children would die immediately. This happened not once, not twice, but four times. Until one day when she knelt down on her knees, praying to God, asking him any child as long as they will survive. She told God that even a disabled baby would be enough. And God answered her prayers by giving her Sanzimana Eli. The day she produced Sanzimana Eli, doctors said she had to be ready for running, as she had produced an athlete. Well, she thought that doctors were joking. But it later came out to be true, as she was always running up and down in what seemed like a marathon. Our first day to this family, they were hungry, without hope of tomorrow. They were worried, wondering what would happen next. We aired the story and opened a campaign on GoFundMe. You donated. Our second visit, we brought hope to this family. They smiled again. This visit was special to this family. We brought a lot of materials to this family, including mattresses and many more. Their reactions to testing a cake for the first time meant a lot to both the mother and this boy. The boy went to visit other children who were also bullied and everyone saw that he needed to be at school. Well, for the boy to be taken to such a school which helps disabled children and other normal children, it required a lot of money since caring and teaching these children is a difficult task. This mother always wished his son would be going to school as other children. Another problem this mother always had was living in an old house. Afrimax and Afrimax friends contributed. The mother was surprised the day she was handed the keys to his own house. The house had all basic house materials, starting from furniture, TV, and many more. She was also given a cow to help improve their nutrition by providing milk daily. Today, we came to see our old friend once again. But this is a special day for the boy, and for him to feel special, we brought him a special suit. Ever since he was born, it's his first time seeing such a suit and he could not wait until putting it on. He could not believe he's the one wearing such a good-looking suit. He looked elegant. Today, we're taking Sanzimana Eli to school, as it's what the mother said to be the last wish. <laughs> Oh, 
She always wondered whether her boy can go to school and start learning as other normal people. When reflecting to the little experience the mother had when we took Sanzimana Ellie to this school a year ago, she said the boy can also attend and study, though focusing on lessons can take long. On our long journey, we could sometimes stop by and let Sanzimana Eli greet his fans, as he has gained a big fan base, whether locally and internationally. People always see him as a unique person. They all want to get a picture with Eli. <laughs> The journey was too long that we had to take some rest at a certain hotel and head to school the next day. The next morning, Sanzimana Eli had to wear a different suit so as to make him dress to kill. The mother is always there making the boy ready. Boom, Sanzimana Eli is now the smartest person alive. Look how smart he is. After seeing how handsome he was, he ran away. We do not know where he was going. until we saw him heading towards a barber shop. In this shop, a lot of people gathered trying to get pictures. When the barber tried giving him a haircut, the boy was afraid and refused. It's always difficult on the streets whenever he meets other people. They always want to take pictures with the boy and make us delay. Maybe next time we might need a bouncer for the boys' maximum security reasons. The journey took more than three hours and finally we made it to this school. The boy was so happy to be in this school and seems calm and knowing why he's here. He had to automatically join other children in class and start learning. Jiste is the school's program coordinator. He starts by welcoming us once again as he knows this is not our very first time. He says one of the great mission is being a voice to the voiceless. This means welcoming, parenting and teaching such children whom the society always rejected. Though he was welcomed, this school is not a boarding school, it's just a day one. Meaning, Sanzimana Eli has to look somewhere else to live, and of course, not far from the school. Well, we thought of this before and handled this issue. We rented a house and Sanzimana Eli will be living here with his cousin sister. He will be coming here at school starting from 7 sharp in the morning up to the evening. The boy will be taught more about basic knowledge and more as he goes on adapting to the school life. Having not lived around many people and spent most of his time in the forest, it gave him less knowledge on how to live with different people. And that is something crucial that the boy needs to learn and adapt. The man says he's sure it might take time, but believes Sanzimana Eli will go on adapting slowly by slowly. He knows it's a process. And one day, Sanzimana Eli will make everyone proud, starting from his brave heroine mother. Ubrero, 
Jewe dimonda shima abagira neza bangiriye neza. Harimo kremagisi. This mother can't say other word other than thanking different people who have kept supporting her family ever since day one. Aba banyamakuru baji wanje muri cyo gihe nari merewe nabi cyane. Baza kunsura bangirira neza. Nari nshonje nari meze nabi cyane ba ba baragenda bankoreye ubuvugizi. Byo kurya ndabibona. She says she could not believe when she was told they built a house for her. She thought it was all about hitting up stories. Having visited her multiple times, the only prayer request she was remaining with was to see her son go to school as she could clearly see that the society is mistreating the boy, yet he needs to learn more skills. Mm. Nkashimira nabatera nkunga bamuteye inkunga nkashimira nabanyamakuru iyo bataza kuzi wanje ntabwo ibyose nari kubibona She again thanks each and everyone who supported them since the day the first story was aired She so grateful to those who contributed to supporting her family Rero kubyishimo mfite rwose ndi hano mu kigo umwana wanje ari mu bandi ari ku ishuri she says she's sure that within a certain period, Sanzimana Eli will have got some skills and will be respected in the area where they live, and those who always bullied the boy will be ashamed for what they did. We are happy seeing Sanzimana in class with other children. Though some experts said that he has no knowledge of going to class, all we believe is that God is able to turn things around. We as Afrimax thank everyone who contributed to making this possible. The boy is now in class but still needs a few support as he needs different school materials. You can still contribute to make the life of Sanzimana Eli and his mother better by clicking on the GoFundMe campaign's link phone in description and pinned in the comment section. Santimana's life journey fills our hearts with joy. He's truly a son from heaven. He's a blessing in disguise. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe.